This morning, we are learning more about a Tacoma woman's historic career that broke barriers in our state. Nettie Asbury was born July 15, 1865. As a founding member of the Tacoma NAACP, she spent her life fighting for racial and gender equality. Historians now regarding her a Tacoma icon. President of the Black Heritage Society of Washington, Stephanie Johnson Tolliver, joining us live this morning to share the importance of Nettie's activism. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, we oh are. <laughs> yeah, we're so excited to chat with you. Let, let's start about talking a little more about Nettie's life and her legacy for people who may not know her. Oh, um, this is a fabulous opportunity to to celebrate, um, you know, National Women's History Month and taking the opportunity to lift Black women like Nettie Asbury. I mean, she was amazing. You said she was born in 1865, um, and she, you know, stayed kicking until 103 years old, you know, in Tacoma. She was an activist, a civic leader, um, accomplished musician that gave her all to community. She, her story is really interesting because she was the youngest of six siblings who was born free. And her birth state was Kansas, and um, her mother uh, was enslaved. Um, her father was the plantation owner. So despite all of this, she was afforded this opportunity to pursue an education and um, found that she was particularly drawn and talented in music. She thrived in that space, and she received a Ph.D. from the Kansas um, Conservatory of Music. So she was a first in the United States to receive that accomplishment. Finally, she she moves um, west. She's married at 25, and she moves to Seattle initially. Um, she's the organist and um, music director at the First African Meth First African Methodist Episcopal Church, which is the oldest church in Seattle. Um, her husband gets this. Uh, has a serious accident, untimely death, um, uh, three years after they arrive in 1893. So she goes back to Kansas and hangs out for a bit there, but then comes back to Tacoma. And um, this is where her activism really begins. She finds her niche and um, she marries again to uh, Henry Asbury, who was a businessman. They were both well-loved and liked in the community, were civic leaders. Um, she again finds her niche at AME Church in Tacoma, Allen AME, and um, is organist and choir director there. But um, largely, she founded the Tacoma NAACP, and she led the charge in uh, in 1916 to uh, against the screening of Birth of a Nation. Um, she's a, she was acknowledged then as and is acknowledged now as. Um, someone who brought the success of um, it only being screened for one day. Um, she didn't want it to happen at all. None of the citizens wanted it to happen at all, but um, she led a very successful campaign and is known for that today as well. Um, you know, she was founder, uh, too, of the Tacoma Colored Women's Club. And she was just there and um, always interested in self-improvement and improvement in the community. Um, the Colored Women's Clubs was a huge thing that was happening um, in the early uh, 1900s. And so in 1917 is when she founded the Tacoma Colored Women's Club. It was initially the group was known as the Clover Park Club, Clover Leaf Park Club. Um, there's just not enough to say about Nettie, um, what she gave to community, her house in 2022, right, was um, declared a um, Tacoma landmark, a Tacoma City landmark. Um, and proudly that campaign was led by the Tacoma um, Colored Women's Club, um, Cynthia Tucker, who leads there with um, her fabulous team of of people to make that happen. So that's really exciting for Tacoma, and we just like her applauding. Round of applause, yes. And Stephanie, thank you. Thank you for giving us this wonderful lesson in history about a woman who really is somebody that we should look up to. We really appreciate awesome. your time today. Okay, thank you.
Thank you. Have a great day.